Why are there so many fake gurus? Is a guru ever fake? Can we ever really trust anyone who purports to be a spiritual teacher or a guru? What does it actually mean and do we even need a guru? So folks, bear with me on this one. A guru is never a person. A guru is a tatwa. Guru is a principle. Guru is that which gets you in touch with all that is. So you can experience all that is and you can experience the vehicle through which to experience all that is in a person, in a place, in a book, in anything through which you have that experience. The moment we get entangled with the attributes of the vehicle, such as the personality, such as the unique karmic blueprint of a spiritual teacher, of a guru, then you have are no longer in alignment with the guru tattva, but in attachment to the personality of the vehicle of transformation, the vehicle through which darkness is dispelled and the light in you is evoked, the light in you comes out, the teacher within you awakens. How do you recognize that? How do you tell? Is this the right guru for me? Is this the wrong guru for me? You don't. Because you, you don't focus on a person or even a book. You, no, it's not the vehicle. But that which connects you to all that is. So guru is the principle. It's called a tattva. Tattva is a principle. Some of you... so may become a guru for somebody not even knowing that you are that for somebody. Some of us might allege or propose that I am a guru. So we can say I am an awakened teacher or I am a vehicle through which your own awakening can take place but I am not the guru. I am not a guru, right? Because that principle is alive and kicking in anything and everything that is able to dispel ignorance, that is able to lift the veil of illusion of maya. Maya which says, I am my body and bodily sensations and I am only limited to this world. What I see, what I hear, what I touch, what I taste. Everything that I sense is who I think I am. Nothing beyond that. That is Maya. So, when we are able to dispel that and we are ourselves able to gain clarity and see things just as they are, that's when you are now in touch with the Guru Principle. That Guru Principle inside of you is awake. Which is why if you are new to this channel, in my previous posts I have always reiterated that once you undergo a spiritual awakening in which there is a paradigm shift of consciousness that takes place, so that other dimensions of you beyond the mind, the emotion, the thought, all of this. These are also other dimensions of us. These are also other facets and aspects of us. But with an awakening, you open up to super, supra consciousness. And hence, your inner teacher awakens. So we can listen, we can here we can read right and as you are now awake and the teacher in you is awake 
you will know right what is and what is not okay so it is you perceiving the guru principle right now some of us may not be perceiving the guru principle but may be perceiving an alternative way of life or mindset that feels good that feels like it's the right thing and actually that may be that we are either escaping from something in our reality right so this is where we're now seeking we're now seeking and usually that would happen before any spiritual awakening or transformation you're either looking for answers you're looking for something or there is something else that is appealing to you that kind of life you want answers right or you're connected with the charisma of a particular personality a guru a teacher and you're drawn to them right now it can start as being drawn to something which then eventually sprouts into an awakening so we may start off for all sorts of reasons but eventually when that principle the guru tattva is awake inside of us then there won't be any moment that you don't have awareness that you don't live from consciousness so that consciousness so that your day to day material 3d life you have more energy you have so much more it becomes so much more because you can see that guru tattva is alive lots and lots of love if you have any questions you want to share this please do you want to comment please do and let me know what your own experiences are it's a very big topic we have touched upon the guru tattva in previous posts remember the guru tattva can be carried by any messenger that messenger doesn't have to be a person right but the guru tattva doesn't make the messenger the guru we can be an awakened vehicle awakened teacher but guru tattva is a principle so much love take care